calls itself Orlando's most unique cultural experience with more than 140 shows and hundreds of performances to choose from. You might need some help making sure you successfully fringe to the fullest. Lock Haven Cultural Park is pretty much the hub for all fringe activities. So that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Throughout the week, festival grounds are open from 5 p.m. to midnight and from 2 p.m. to midnight on weekends. That's where you'll find all the food, drinks, free performances, and the Before I Die wall where you can share your aspirations with other festival goers. That's such a cool idea. We're going to talk shows. We've got comedies, musicals, spoken word and dance, all that good stuff. And then finally, before you head out there, there are two things you need to get into any Fringe show. You need a ticket and you need a button. Hey, all you glampers out there. We are at the Orlando International Fringe Festival, which is one of our favorite parts of Orlando. It is a 12 day long, insane performing arts festival with all these incredible theater artists, music artists, dance artists, visual artists, all coming together from all over the world. We have people who are right down the street. We have people who are from Japan here this year and their show is nuts and amazing. Anyway, Fringe is the most popular festival in Orlando. This is also the longest running North American Fringe and the most successful and the biggest. So it is a pride and joy of Orlando. So we cannot wait to get started fringing. And all you need to do that, in my case, have an artist pass or grab a Fringe button and that will get you into any show plus a ticket. So let's get fringing. guys hope you're enjoying the video so far we're actually also seeing three shows today and the first one that we're going to be seeing is called space hippo and it's supposed to be this really really cool hand puppetry and shadow puppetry kind of show so it should be very very visually interesting Hi, my name is Mike Marinaccio. I'm the festival producer of the Orlando Fringe Festival. Um, what else do you want me to say? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, how long have you been producer for the uh, festival? Uh, I've been producing this festival. This is my eighth time producing the festival, so nine years I've been with the organization. Yeah, and guys, we are just really, really humbled and really honored because this guy right here, he, he's the one that runs the French. <laughs> and I'm kind of really lucky that I was able to like snag him real quick and he was kind enough to want to talk for a minute but but just you know just say whatever you want like like you know talk about what you do like like you were even like uh, involved in the fringe but on the theater side before you came producer sure. I was a I was an artist with the Orlando fringe for 15 years I did 17 shows in 15 years before I became producer uh, and I started with Todd. So Todd and I did our first show together in 1997. What show was that? It was called The Zombie Doorman. That's right. And it was a 40 minute kind of like 20 something sitcom. It was like R rated friends, I don't know. Uh, and um, <laughs> we just had a blast with it. Uh, we sold tickets for $3 of tickets. Uh, and we were the top seller of our venue and we were hooked. So, um, but I just love the independent performing arts um, uh, that, that we cultivate here. Uh, innovative, original, exciting, fresh stuff. It's accessible for audiences because it's cheap. It's uh, accessible for artists because it's inexpensive for them to participate and they can make money here and they can take chances with their work. So um, I love that about The Fringe, but my favorite thing, my all time favorite thing about The Fringe is the community. Uh, it's the people that I don't get to see year round, but then I, uh, a fringe rolls around and it's like a reunion, you know, uh, these people that I love uh, from the community. Jason, <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I know. Um, I yeah, know, I right? usually see you just a couple um, of times a year, yeah. but you and my husband are like BFFs and you guys are always collaborating throughout the year doing like all kinds of great stuff. Yep. And now you are like producer of the Fracken Fringe. I've been, yeah, it's, I've been really blessed. It's kind of come full circle for you, yeah. Yes, yes sir, I get to do my, what I love for a living, and it's it's amazing. It's uh, the greatest thing in the world. Wonderful. I'm super blessed. I love you all and happy glamping. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's all about the community, whether it's the RV community or the fringe community. For sure. All right, thank you.
we are still hanging out at French and having a great time today, guys. And uh, without further ado, I'm just going to let this gentleman take over, introduce himself, oh, and, and tell us more about Fringe and as uh, the question we have been asking throughout the day, what is your favorite thing about Fringe? Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm Adam McCabe and uh, I wrote and directed a, uh, a play called Death Face, which is about a company that delivers bad news door to door like pizza. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's my Tarantino fever dream. And uh, my favorite thing about Fringe is just stumbling upon random artists who can just kind of make you feel anything. Like I just met a girl named Zelda who, who played the guitar and just made me cry and it was just one of the most unbelievable things and uh, yeah I just it's been it's been really wonderful it's a really great year so if you've never been out to Orlando Fringe it's it's one of those experiences where you just kind of stumble into theater you stumble into something out of your comfort zone and it just it may just change your life so Orlando Fringe it's awesome come to 2020 if you can 10,000 tiny birds beat their wings Glamping Guys channel, is that what it is? Yes, the yes. Glamping Guys. Glamping Guys. <laughs> I'm Lainey. Um, I'm Tamisha, but uh, you can call me Tush. <laughs> okay, for, for a very good reason. Uh, obviously. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. right, baby got back, girl. Tush, what's your favorite thing about Fringe? I have so many things about Fringe that I can't even really put to words. A, you get to see people. A, you get to see new works. A, if you're an artist, you get paid. Uh, a, 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 A. B is like, okay. Yes. Okay, so I might go to <laughs> another letter in the alphabet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all A pluses. And, you know, if you're an artist, you get paid for your work. Absolutely. You get to try something new and put it out there and get feedback and maybe end up traveling the world. Yeah, absolutely. Like this one. Uh, like you already with. Josephine uh, Baker. That's the right, show, Josephine you know? Baker, the show. Would you be know. Like, <laughs> if it wasn't for the other half of the glamping guys. And I wouldn't be able to tour Fringes and do this thing. It's not just, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. People think it's, oh, it's that thing that happens once, a, once in a while, but it's an outlet. It's an avenue for you to express yourself, to let art heal you, to get your art, have art heard, like, uh, <laughs> It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. What about you? Totally. What's your favorite thing about Oof. Yeah. I've been crying all day. And what is your name, by the way? I'm Lainey. I've been Lainey. crying all day, so apologize. Um, really fringe. Yeah, fringe can be very emotional yeah, too. Yeah, fringe is honestly it's like very Christmas. Emotional. It's very mm -hmm. yeah. It's like Christmas. You never know what you're going to unwrap when you walk into a show. You Absolutely. never know what you're going to get. And that's so incredible. And, that's, and yeah. I'm friends with artists that I met here 15 years ago, and I'm still friends with them. And I love all the... It's reunion time. It's reunion yeah. time. It is so great to see so many amazingly talented people. And you've been gone for quite a while. You're yes. fairly new coming back yeah. to the Orlando it's Fringe. It's second Fringe back. Yeah. And it's like oh, just yeah. coming home to family, yeah. I imagine. Coming home to family. <laughs> so would you say that's your favorite thing you enjoy about Fringe? Is the, is the, the family behind yeah. it? Or? Yeah, the people. Yeah. 
and yeah, the people. I'd say so. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> so, do you guys have any last words before we wrap up the little interview? Come to Orlando Fringe. Go to any fringe. Any fringe, sure. Yes, yeah. very sure. Go, but definitely, if you're in the Central Florida area, come to the Orlando Fringe. Support art throughout the year. If you support it throughout the year, then it won't be like such a surprise when yeah. it comes in. And don't sure. worry about saying the same damn thing because it's not going to be the same damn thing. That's right. It changes That's right. every so often. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. But no, it's wonderful. And I, I don't know what else to say. Thanks, glamping guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and happy French. Happy French. Happy French. <laughs>and what was the name of the song? 10,000 Tiny Birds. 10,000 Tiny Birds. Thank you so much. Beautiful and thank you. Thank you guys so much for enjoying this video. Thank you for checking out Orlando Fringe and have an amazing time.